Hello, good day viewers. Let me show you the step-by-step -step on how to solve quadratic equation by decompleting the square method. I have a quadratic equation here on the board, which is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Remember, in our previous lesson, I told you we only need the first and the second term. Therefore, we are going to take the constant term to the right-hand side. So we have 2x squared plus 3x to the right-hand side. This is negative. It is going to become positive. Our leading coefficient is 2. If it is 1, you move to the next step. But if it is any other number apart from 1, you have to divide each term by that number. So here we are going to divide each of these terms by 2. So the first term becomes x squared plus 3 divided by 2 is going to make it 3 over 2x. We are going to leave a space here because we are going to add a particular number. So this is equal to 2 divided by 2 is 1. What we are going to add here is the square of the half of the coefficient of x. 3 over 2 is the coefficient of x. Half of it squared. This time this is 3. This time this is 4. All squared. This squared is 9. This squared is 16. So we are going to add this term to these two terms in order to make it a perfect square quadratic function. So we have plus 9 over 16. But initially we do not have this. I added it for this purpose. So we have to add it to the other side in order to make this equation balance. So plus 9 over 16. Now we are free to factorize the left hand side. Since it is a perfect square quadratic function, it is going to be x plus half of the coefficient of the middle term which is going to make it 3 over 4 because half of this is this all squared and to the right hand side you know we can write 1 as 16 over 16 because of this 16 so we have 16 over 16 plus 9 over 16 x plus 3 over 4 from the left hand side all squared this is equal to this plus this is 25 divided by 16 because they have common denominator. Now to get rid of this square, we are going to take the square root of both sides. Taking the square root of the left hand side, we we'll cancel this square, leaving x plus 3 over 4. And to the right hand side, we are going to attach plus or minus because we are now introducing square root to a number that doesn't have a square root in an equation from left hand side to right hand side 25 over 16 since we are only interested in knowing x we are going to take this term to the right hand side it is positive here once it crosses over it becomes negative so we have x equal to negative 3 over 4 plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 square root of 16 is 4 a quadratic equation naturally has two roots, so we are going to split this into two, using first for positive sign and second for negative sign. x equal to minus 3 over 4 plus 5 over 4. They have common denominator, so we can add denominators together. Negative 3 plus 5 is going to make it positive 2 over 4 positive 2 over 4 and positive 2 over 4 is equal to 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 so you can see this is our first solution x1 then for x2 we use the negative sign negative 3 over 4 then minus 5 over 4 negative 3 Negative 5 is going to make it negative 8. This is negative 8 over 4. And we say x2 is now equal to negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. Hence, the two solutions we have, x1 and x2, are equal to. The first one is either half or 0 0.5. So we have one of them. And the second one is negative 2. Hence, these two values are the required solutions for this quadratic equation. 
And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.